Wonderful Wednesday after work. It's the evening and we're smack dab in the middle of the month. Yep, 30 days in November and we're at the 15th. I hope you are having a great first half of the month and woo, the best is yet to come. And let's uh let's get a story going. What is this? Old Bear. Okay. In the background is, I believe, Vince Girardi skating, but Cyrus Chestnut is playing. And it gets us in the mood of the winter time, holiday and ice skating. We're not there yet with snow. And uh, we can't picture this bear skating, but we're sure that it's going to be a good story because we see the fall leaves. So let's just imagine. Old bear. He looks happy. Or she looks happy. All right, snug and warm. Curled and furry, old bear sleeps. Red, orange, and brown leaves fly through the air. And it is snowing hard. Now we just talked about snow. Wait a second. So I guess this song is appropriate. Snowing. Oh, we're not ready for it. No, we're not. Old Bear doesn't notice. Old Bear is dreaming about being a cub again, going back in yesteryear. He is dreaming about the beauty of the world. He is dreaming about everything he loves. Turn the page and you will see. I just don't see how snow mixes with this story. Oh, there it is. Here's some snow. Get ready, guys. Kevin Hinks is giving us a taste. Snow with leaves. Okay. Oh my goodness. What? By the time Old Bear fell asleep for the winter, it was snowing hard. Oh. Get ready, you all. Snow is coming. Soon he was dreaming. I always try to beat the snow, the first snowfall. I'm like, there shouldn't be leaves on the lawn, in the ground near my house, and then there's snow falling down. Mm -mm. It should be bare so that none of the leaves are sticking up out of the snow. Now that's just me. It should be pure, flat, white snow. But you don't ever get that chance, or sometimes you just don't have the chance to Get all the leaves up. He dreamed that spring had come and he was a cub again. I was telling a fourth grader, I was like, uh-uh, you're not a baby. Stop acting like a baby laying down. Uh-uh, get up, do your work. And then there was another child crawling, crawling mm -mm, like they're, they don't know how to walk. No. So no, they're not a cub. You're not a cub, bear. The flowers were as big as trees. He took a nap in a giant pink crocus. Yeah, I have a lot of students who try to take a nap. I'm like, y'all need to get off the phones at night. Turn them off. Put the phones in a different room so y'all can get a good night rest. I'm just saying. Then he dreamed that it was summer. Oh, the sun was a daisy and the leaves were butterflies. Oh, summer. <sighs> Part of the sky clouded over and it rained blueberries. Oh, do you ever do that? I used to do that with the snow. Oh, have you ever eaten snow? It's hard to catch. I remember the fresh snow once when I was a child. The snow came down and it was a fresh sheet and I scooped. And when I was a child, uh, my neighbor was like, don't eat that snow. I was just curious. You know, children are curious. Next, he dreamed of autumn. That's where we are now. Everything was yellow and orange and brown. Even the birds and the fish 
and the waters. What a beautiful, the body of water. This beautiful scenery. <gasps> oh, after that, he dreamed that winter was back. Yes, the world was covered in ice. Let's just picture people ice skating. I think this is part of Charlie Brown Christmas. Get ready, you all. It was night and the sky was blazing with stars of all colors. The cold went on forever. I like winter. I like all seasons. What's your favorite season? Hmm? Spring, summer, fall, winter. Yeah, all of them are beautiful. Old Bear slept and dreamed, dreamed and slept. He was hibernating. <gasps> when he finally woke up, it seemed to him that no time had passed since he had fallen asleep. He yawned, he stretched. He poked his head out of his den to see if it was still snowing. He blinked and blinked again. And when Old Bear walked out into the beautiful spring day, it took him a minute to realize that he wasn't dreaming. Whoa, was that a long nap? Seasons come and go. Let's take advantage of time and that hibernate. Ah, and there he is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Kevin Hanks. Oh, so he illustrated and wrote this. My goodness. He was awarded the Caldecott Medal for Kitten's First Full Moon. He is the creator of several picture books featuring his mouse characters including the I New York the number 1 New York Times bestseller Lily Big Day and Wimberly Worried the Caldecott Honor Book Owen and the beloved Lily's Purple Plastic Purse Nice Bruce Handy in a New York Times book review piece about a good day the author's most recent picture book wrote it should be said Keith Hinks is a genius you're a genius too. Yes, you are. Mr. Hanks also writes for older children. Oh, that's difficult to capture that audience. Mr. Hanks also writes, yes, for various audiences. His novels include Bird Lake Moon, The Newberry Honor Book, Olive's Ocean, The Birthday Room, and Sun and Spoon. He lives with his family in Madison, Wisconsin. Will you continue to cultivate your genius, Mr. Hanks? I tell you, for you to get those awards, this is very encouraging for us to take advantage of the time that we have so that we could cultivate the gifts that we have within us and we don't hibernate and sleep and waste time. All right, thank you. Have a good evening resting, but let's stir up the gift that is within each one of us.